Hey, hey Cancer, what's up? This is going to be your mini read for the week. We are taking a look at all the energy, the messages, the things you need to know right now. Um, could be some guidance, whatever is going to come through, okay? We want to see whatever messages that you need to hear right now for Cancer. Okay, the moon. Okay. What else? Okay. Knight of Gabriel. So it's like the moon, the Knight of Wands, and we have, um, I believe this is the tower. It's the third, or not the tower, the um, death card. It's the 13. Okay. This is talking about something being over ending and releasing the past. Okay. Uh, this is letting you know your spirit team take the wheel there's something better that's coming for you and i think you might be finding out some information here um you know listen to your intuition i feel like right now your intuition is probably very very strong uh with the moon here but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and clarify and see what else what's at the bottom four of ariel it's like the four of pentacles okay you may have been in some sort of constricting type of job or relationship with somebody, right? And I feel like right now you're trying to actually protect yourself. Some of you need to watch the way you're spending your money or how you're spending your money. It's time for you to save right now instead of do things like make big, huge purchases, okay? Definitely time for you to move and take action here. Um, you guys kind of know what you have to do. If there is a situation here where you found something out, I think deep down with this Knight of Wands, you guys know what you need to do you may you just may not have done it yet maybe you're staying in a particular situation cancer because you know this person is helping to pay for the kids or you know you rely on this person financially i don't know what your situation is but i feel like you're kind of staying around on purpose if that makes sense okay let's go ahead and clarify <clears throat> Why do we have the Knight of Gabriel, please? Clarify the Knight of Gabriel for Cancer. Okay. We have Sagittarius energy. We have Temperance and the Queen of Swords. I think you've been really patient with somebody or you're trying to be patient with somebody, okay? Because honestly, the best thing for you to do right now seems to wait. Maybe some of you, instead of just breaking up with your company or breaking up with a person, a friend, whatever this is for you, you're waiting and trying to figure some things out because you're trying to do the smart thing here. Okay. I feel like you're having a very clear conversation with somebody um, and letting them know that you know, you're, you, you want peace and you want harmony in your life. You're ready to move forward. I think this is happening soon. If you haven't already had this conversation, why is the four of Ariel here? Okay. Somebody is definitely watching you. Okay, with the Page of Swords. I feel like you're receiving some sort of information here um, that's going to help you. Some of you are waiting to get more money or a job, I feel like, to leave the security of where you're at right now, um, be it a relationship or be it an actual job. I see a job offer coming through here, some sort of email confirmation or even facts for some of you i mean we rarely use facts but people still do it but um, i see some sort of communication coming through here okay because some of you might have been you know you're not getting paid as much as you need to be so you might be trying to really hold on to your money and that's why i'm saying hold on to your money and for others of you you're in a living situation 
Like possibly, oh, sorry, this is just hurting me the way this is. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. I didn't mean to do that. I forgot you were there. I forgot you were there, my love. I just, I just messed up the cat. Sorry. Um, so yeah, you might be in a situation where you're like in a roommate thing and you don't want to be a roommate anymore. You want to move out. Okay. But you have to be patient in this situation. Okay. I'm sorry, Saj. I just messed it all up. Why is the moon here, please? Why is the moon here for cancer? This is actual cancer energy. Five of pentacles. Yeah, feeling, you know, this could be abandonment. It could be lack of finances too, okay? So you're trying to do the right thing. We also have five of cups. So yeah, definitely you might be finding out that somebody was taking advantage of you, okay? Um, somebody may have broke up with you or abandoned the connection, or maybe you had to abandon the connection. You know, I know you're sad and you're hurt or this person is, but somebody here could have betrayed you, all right? And this was, there was a secret that's coming out here with the moon, there's definitely a feeling of loss here. We have the two fives, the five of cups. That's emotional loss and emotional pain in the five of pentacles. So not only did you lose, you know, um, let's say a friend or a lover, but, you, you know, um, money. Okay, money. And I think you're trying to avoid losing the money. Anybody would. Why do we have the peace card here, please? Why do we have this peace card? Two of Swords, you were really feeling stuck. You were at a stalemate. The Emperor, you could have been with somebody who was really stubborn. Um, you know, they they just maybe wanted to try to change, but I don't think that this person could change, whoever this is. Um, Emperor is Aries energy. You're dealing with somebody who was was going to have a hard time changing. And maybe wasn't very stable in their life. I feel like they weren't really stable. But you need and want stability. And that's why you are leaving the situation. Okay. Because it makes you feel stuck. There, there's no growth here. Because even the death card is about transformation. It's about growing. It's about changes that we should naturally be going through. Um, you know, or make because we want to have a better life for ourselves. Okay. All right. So let's see what the angels are saying here with the daily guidance. What message do you have for cancer? That was it. Just jumped right up. In the <laughs> Joy. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. So yes, guys, I know she's like riding a dolphin, right? So I know that things are tough right now. You may not be feeling a lot of joy, but as you begin to just celebrate the good things that are happening for you, your joy will increase, your vibration will go up. This is the thing to celebrate getting away from a situation that has not been good for you on an emotional level, nor on a physical level. You've lost time and money here, right? Feelings and emotions um, in a particular situation here, maybe even, you know, at a job, like I said. So, um, you know, concentrate on the positive things if you're able to do that, because this person you're dealing with is not going to change. I know that some of you may be considering a second chance with them, but I can tell you right now, this is, you know, you're already fearing that you're going to regret it. You know what I'm saying? You're fearing you're going to regret it and that this is just going to be a loss anyway. So I, if I were you with the moon, I would trust my intuition on that one. Okay. Cause you got a person who's not going to change here. Okay. That's what I got for you guys. If it resonated, please make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.